Hello. Oxygen saturation describes the level of oxygen in your blood. You may also hear people refer to it as blood oxygen level. You need to be able to measure this using a pulse oximeter. A pulse oximeter measures oxygen levels using a probe that is usually placed on the end of someone's finger. The display screen shows the oxygen level as a percentage. Pulse oximetry is very useful as it identifies low blood oxygen levels quickly. There should be a pulse oximeter available in every area where news is being used. Using pulse oximetry is straightforward. Ensure the pulse oximeter is clean and working. Gain consent to take a reading and explain what you are going to do. Select an appropriate finger for the probe. Apply the probe. Ask the person to rest their hand. Allow the oximeter to take a reading. It usually flashes a bit before the numbers appear. Write down the number on the paper, news chart or your electronic device. You must also write down whether the reading has been taken while the person is breathing normal room air or is on oxygen therapy. If so, record how much oxygen they are being given. A normal oxygen saturation range is 96% or higher. There is a group of people who live with a lower level of oxygen in their blood. These are people with lung conditions such as COPD. A usual oxygen saturation for them is between 88 and 92%. If this is the case, it should be clearly written in their notes by their doctor or lung nurse. Otherwise, assume that normal is 96% or higher. The person must have a good pulse and good blood flow to their fingers for the pulse oximeter to work. Cold hands, dehydration or a dirty probe can make it difficult to get an accurate reading. Nail varnish and false nails can also affect the reading. You may need to talk to a senior colleague for advice on whether the varnish or nails need to be removed. If you have any questions about using a pulse oximeter, please speak to your manager or a senior colleague.